I think India in general is actually about changing perceptions and changing your expectations or just coming here with an open mind knowing that whatever stereotype you think is India will probably be proven wrong. I think coming to India I probably felt like I was nervous in a way worried about like am I gonna get sick, uh, is it dangerous for women and when you're very first kind of intimidated and you're not quite sure what India is then meeting someone like Paula, an expat living here and she was an excellent bridge. The pavement is rarely for walking. <laughs> Because she was almost like I could see myself in her, but she had five years of experience of this place. So I think one of the coolest things about getting around Mumbai is actually there's sort of some way for everyone that suits every budget. So you can do it a little bit like this, local style, cramp on in, it's really cheap. Or you can pay a little bit extra, it's about ten times extra, and you can have all the personal space in the first class carriage. Like, or you can get a rickshaw, you can get a private taxi, you can even get the bus. So whatever your budget, whatever your style and mode of transport, whatever your personality, there is some way to get around, which is cool. I think this is actually my favourite though. But there's also these really cool women-only carriages where if you're just feeling a little bit unnerved or perhaps you are travelling by yourself, then you look out for the women-only carriages and you hop on them. Does it make you feel safer as a lady to travel in this carriage? Yes. Well done. You're fully initiated. I'm fully initiated. That was awesome. Public transport here is like the cheapest you'll get anywhere in the world. Wow. Wait. <laughs> The first thing that really will stick out to most people is that you get stared at a lot. Oh, you want a selfie? Yeah. Okay. We've got to get everyone in though. Everyone comes. Culturally staring is not a taboo over here. Most people who are staring at you, they don't have any bad intentions or anything. They're just curious. Once you get used to that idea, then you can definitely relax a bit more in public. You know what? I'm going to get them back. Yeah. It's your turn. Selfie! Yeah. Woo! Honestly, if you're traveling in India, you need to have Indian chai. And it's safe, right? Because they boil up the water, so. Yeah, they usually keep the chai boiling all day. There is that very famous uh, rape case that happened in Delhi a few years back. And rape is very much a reality. I personally have not had any serious issues in Mumbai. Let's not sugarcoat it. It is a risk. And in India, where there's such a sheer magnitude of people, that risk might be higher. And if you're a female travelling in India, like, it's going to be on your mind. It was on my mind. Jazz is a street artist. She's created the Pink Lady. And it's this graphic art that has this beautiful, elegant woman. And she's holding her sari back and she's got knuckle dusters that say boom. I created her after the 2012 Delhi rape. It was uh, something that really, you know, punched India's gut. It was such a horrific incident and I don't feel that women should ever have to think twice about something that men don't have to think twice about. As a woman, I want to rejoice in change happening in India that empowers women. When you see that pink lady and it goes boom, you're like, yeah, and it's empowering. I do go out in the middle of the night. Sometimes it's 2 a.m., sometimes 4 a.m., and I feel safe, you know? Um, but I'm also being smart about it, too, and I think that's what um, everyone has to be. Um, there are now, like, women drivers. It's pretty unusual to have a female driver. Yes, it is. Like, this profession is very rare for ladies to take on, like, uh, driving. I feel very proud of my profession. And do you have any advice for female travellers that might be coming to India about how to get around Mumbai or how to get around the city? Mumbai is very safe. Like I'm in this profession for almost 12 years and I drive any time of night and day and it is very safe. And any help you can just call me. <laughs> so there is this fine balance that you can strike here where you're an aware, conscious, responsible traveller but you also open your heart and open your attitude. So when you come to India, there is an opportunity to do slum tours. 
I am a little bit conflicted about coming here and, you know, is this responsible tourism or is it just voyeurism? Um, but at the same time, it's something that I feel is important to broaden my perspective. So I'm actually meeting someone from here. This is his home. Yo, what's Akash. up? Akash! What's up, Caroline? How are you? Yeah, I'm good. You want to see the club? I want to see it, but there's a little bit in me that feels like, is this okay? Okay, okay. I'll take you here. So we're going to walk on this bridge. This area is called Recycling Industries. 78% of the trash comes here every day to get recycled. So there are more than 5,000 different businesses. Yeah, this is Main Street. It's busy. You, if you are very new, you will definitely get lost in the alleyways. Oh yeah, I've got no. Oh, I've got no idea where we are. Yeah. People have same conceptions that they think it's all about negative things happen there. And here we try to dispel that negative image. We want people to see the creativity which Dharavi has. It's a diversity of many different things. I kind of felt really conflicted about going there and then when we actually went and we met our guide who lives there and it's his home and he wanted to show us that there's this totally different slide to a slum. All my stereotypes are broken, like straight away. It's like a microcosm of India in a very small place. Now my mission is just to tell people that, man, this is Dharabi. This is not uh, Slum Dog City. This is Slum God City. Travelling in India as a female is going to be challenging at times. There are elements that are crazy and there are elements where you have to be aware. But most of the time, this is an incredible destination that it's really what you make it. That India is a place that you could keep discovering for a lifetime.